Hey guys, this is Pierce Randall here with Great Plains Ag, and behind me is the new Great Plains Quala Disc, the HS2200. This is the 16 foot model, and I'm here with today's field tip. Uh, what we're going to talk about is setting the levelness of the machine when you're on the smaller tools that don't have the gauge wheels. The 13 and the 16 foot, the front gauge wheels are optional, and they'll be standard on the 20 and 23s. Uh, one of the big things we found here today was uh, how to adjust the level util utilizing the front tongue. Uh, the level of, and the, the depth of the rear machine is set with shims on cylinders that go to the rear attachment. But the levelness and the depth of the front of the machine is set with this tongue here. So if you come on up, we'll take a look at what we're talking about. You've got a, a telescoping tube here, and then you've got a cylinder with a series of shims. Um, typically, with a tool that has gauge wheels, you would drop this collar all the way out of the way onto the very bottom, which lets this tube uh, kind of move in and out freely. Um, and with the gauge wheels, the levelness and the depth of the front of the machine are set with the gauge wheels. So you're good there. You can leave that collar out of the way so the tongue can flex and float. On a tool without gauge wheels, it's important that we utilize this collar to actually set the, the hitch so it can't telescope too far. If it telescopes too far, the front of the tool actually plunges into the ground. So the best thing to do, what we found in this collar, there's three different positions, kind of a front, medium, and a rear. Uh, and what we did was in the, the middle position and we're on uh, one, two, three, four, five, on the fifth hole. Um, now it might vary based on the hitch height of the tractor, uh, but ultimately what we did was we set these shims level on the front cylinder with what we did on the rear. And then we used this collar as we adjusted the height of the machine to get it where the tool was fairly level. Um, it got us close with the collar in this position and then we were able to fine tune the, the levelness of the machine by adding or removing shims. But uh, it is a good uh, thing to keep in mind. Try to keep the shims on the front and the rear equal and do most of your course adjustment and, and set the levelness for the hitch um, with this collar in the pin. Um, so that's it for today's uh, field tip. Thanks for joining us. Uh, contact a local Great Plains dealer near you to talk more about the HS2200 Qualidisc.